Hello everybody, my name is Sam and welcome to yet another episode of my Kind Master tutorial series. I'm sorry for the little noise in the background, but welcome once again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can use Kind Master to make a simple 2D animation. But before we get started, allow me to let you know that I have decided to make a few changes to my channel. I am going to be uploading a new video each Monday and every Friday and these videos will be about Kind Master and then the other creative skills respectively. Now I recommend you subscribe to my channel in order not to miss out on anything that I upload. And if you have already done it so, you guys are great, I want to appreciate you. But don't stop there, please continue supporting me by liking my videos and sharing them. And of course always comment in case of anything. And for now, let's get started. I'll be back when you finish watching the video. Okay guys, so for you to be able to make this kind of animation, you'll need to at least download these vector files from a link that is in the description down below. These vector files will be PNG photos and also some videos maybe for chroma Cree. so you'll have to really layer these files very well in kind master now you have to open your kind master after downloading all those things create a new project and of course go to your download folder and then pick the files and really layer them one by one i i would recommend you you follow along in this video okay of course the first one you put is a media file that will be the background so i downloaded that as a background and then i zoom it to fit the screen that is going to be my background file now the rest will be layers of course i said i have png files i mean png photos these are photos without backgrounds you get so you can pick let's pick that house and then put it it's it's a little big so we'll need let's duplicate that to make them two I think we should extend it a bit yeah so that was big let's let's delete this other one let's just put that and delete this other one okay and we duplicate that so we're going to duplicate that since we don't have a road we need a road from another one so after duplicating that other one we will only crop the road but make sure all your files play up to the end you get mostly most of them especially the still ones the ones that are still that are not going to be moving should at least play up to the end so let's match those and then crop that to just get the road we don't have that road of course that we can again duplicate this to make the road longer you get so you can duplicate it again and then extend yeah so there we already have a house i mean houses and then a long road then we also have other files you can add another layer you can come back i mean let's make them begin at the same time let's push them all to the beginning you then add another layer okay we have this other files that we downloaded there is that mountain we can really make it play up to the end since it's going to be still and then put it to its position okay we can if it's a little big you can adjust it to what really fits you you can also duplicate it to make it a little a little bit more just play around with the settings okay you can take it to the back of the screen like this you can see i've already taken it back to the, the back of the road and to the back of the houses you can also duplicate it and then just like that just playing around it's a matter of creativity okay so you need to do this there we have even flipped it to make it look a little more a little bit modernized mm, so that is it we also have to take that to the back of the screen at least to reveal the road okay of course then if not yet satisfied then we adjust it to the place where we have to really agree that it looks good we also can really play around and add other files okay we also have other files that we downloaded we have the grasses so to make it simple we just duplicate this and replace okay you duplicate a file and then just replace it to avoid again wasting time trying to adjust it to the end trying to clip and all that okay so those are the grasses i mean the compound grass you already understand okay just adjust it and then put it where it's supposed to be Oh, it's way too shorter, so we duplicate it and then make it fit the screen. Just like that. Okay. Here we can also add another layer. We just duplicate that and replace the file. This time around we want to pick another thing. Okay, let's pick that flower. I mean the flowers there. We can adjust them, they're too big. Of course, put them in the position where we feel like they are supposed to be. That is done. Again, we're going to add another thing by simply duplicating this one that we have already put and then replacing go back to your download folder and then pick another file 
okay pick the other file this one we have a little rock here adjust it to the size you prefer and then put it we can already see we have already set a very nice scenery there we already have a road and everything that looks really pretty good now we also have these other things that are supposed to move remember what we have put so far are just still photos so we have cars that are supposed to be passing by the road this is a still photo but you're going to make it move we have this is called motion tracking i'll make a video soon on it so you're going to use that key sign of course where you put it you are trying to tell yourself that by the time it reaches that point that is where the car should be okay when you are beginning the car will be there and you can play and see it goes so there it passes yes uh let's make it a bit faster so you can see it mm -hmm. so it begins from there and then it moves up to the other side so you put that key and then add a point you adjust the car to where really it has to be any objects to move for any object to move you have to do the same thing let's take that to the back and then the back of the rock okay so it passes behind the rock a little bit there it is just like that i'll make a video soon on on how to use this key here to explain so you'll have to watch out for my next video on kind master then we also have this one i talked about a green screen this one needs your chroma key i'll also make another video the next video after the the one of motion tracking will be the one of chroma key of course you just have to do that you touch on chroma key and then remove the green screen let's flip it to make it move in the opposite direction okay and then go back to the other same key and of course make him also move of course he's riding in the same position so we, this time around we have to make him move along the road so make sure by the time you use reach that second point he will be there at the end of the screen you get so when you play you see him riding across the screen and then you have to at least make him pass you can see he's passing on top of the rock okay so we have to take him behind the rock by sending backward so that when you play you see that he really passes behind that this is really simply layering in kind master i think i should just make a general video on how to layer in kind master all right so that is it guys it's just a matter of being creative okay you can add as many files as possible and make your video as long as possible and you can also add background noises and music and all that so see you in another video